Hello and welcome to assignment 9.3. We will publish a new map and the map consists out of our input from the last lessons where we talked about or where we managed the data and boiled down to the question where is the property I am interested in. Now this was the result in the end. We have here a layer called suited property final marked in green. We have a suitable DEM subset polygonal layer with um, suitable ground marked in green and non-suited ground marked here in red. We have some schools and some restaurants and some streets. But instead of publishing it as a static pdf -y map, we will create a web map for all kinds so we can hand this over and just send them a new URL. Please explore your results here. So how to do this? First of all, we need to yeah, somehow deal with the data first because sometimes you can publish it right away, but it needs a lot of insight in the data and you need to make sure that you understand what you're publishing. So let's have a look first on the suited property file. Um, not here, but just right click and say, let's have a look at the feature count. 611 items, which is quite a lot, right? So let's have a look here once again into the attribute table. Now check for the OSM ID. The OSM ID seems to be valid. The full ID, there are nearly no duplicate entries here. Sometimes you will find them. Let's have a look here on where these both items are. This is now one polygon. But I cannot see them highlighted. Because all of the three are the same. Or there are some null geometries. But to be quite honest, there should not be any duplicate entries here, so that's fine for the moment. We will stick it, stick to it. So but the if we put it on the web, we have a lot of information to share here, right? But most of the info information or most of the attributes are empty. But we need to keep in mind that we are interested in one attribute, and that is the area, because that was somehow crucial to our client. And we need some identifier for the polygon. So if a user clicks on one, one building, he will only see the OSM ID or the full ID, so he can refer to it to us as a selling person. So we will remove, uh, we will close this. First of all, we will get rid of the attributes. Therefore, we will do quite a hard approach. We will remove all of them. Now go to go to the attribute table and select delete field. We will first select everything. Then we will stick with the full ID and we will also leave the area where it is. Where's the area? Let's have a look here. There's the area. And press OK. Now this takes some time. Now we are finished. We press on save. Now, this looks a little bit odd. Remove this. Once again, open the attribute table. We have still all the information we need, right? So, we can work with this. What layer should we include in our web map? So, we will not include the roads layer because we will use uh, a base map for our, for our web map, which consists of OpenStreetMap Monochrome. So we have all the all the um, information here. We will alter this um, suitable DEM subset due to the fact that Leaflet has quite some 
hurdle or some problems with this dashed fillings. You can have a look here in the pre preview of, of the QGIS to web plugin. Go here with leaflet and say up, update preview. You can see it works, but it shows everything marked in red, and that's not the case for the moment, right? So we have some greenish areas as well. Therefore, we will alter this uh, visualization. We will go with a simple fill. And you know, this is the basic, okay? And we will assign red to the non-valid areas or non-suited areas and green to the suited areas. We will remove all other values and we will select 50% um, of Transparency, maybe even go a little bit further with the transparency for the visualization to 20%. Yeah, that's cool. Now, the schools we don't need a stroke style here for the for this for the outline, and we need to rename this layer to schools. We will rename or we will also remove. the stroke style from the restaurants. No, there is already no stroke. And um, shall we include the rest of the buildings layer? No, we don't want to like to have all the other buildings. And we need to have our suited property final also with no pen, great. So we have the schools, we have the restaurants, we have the suited properties. Now, is there anything else we can include? I don't think so for the moment. So, but we need to make sure that the layer of the suited property is visualized in a proper way. So therefore, maybe we should go with another color. So let's have a look here, maybe with some proper orange. Or some nice blue. Let's try this out. You need to find a good balance between the colors in the, in the map. Um, we could also try hard black. Well, works fine. Everything is visible, right? You can identify the results better. So let's have a look on the QGIS2 app preview. Opening up QGIS2 app, we need to rename a layer. So this will not be pseudo property final. We will name it suited buildings, right? And uh, this is suited buildings, suited areas, rename streets, or rename the restaurant layer restaurants and also remove some attributes here because once again there's just too many of and too much of information we will keep with the name we will stick to the name because this is interesting for the people to know so look here can remove everything that's there Stick with the name. Is there any other information filled? No, not really. Press and save.
Now let's have a further look on the suited areas and the attributes over there. The attributes are just fine. Let's rename the symbology. The legend entry will not be zero, it will be not suited. And this is, of course, suited. Now, qgis to vap has a great way of dealing with the properties of a project. So let's open up the project properties, go to metadata, and there's an abstract section here where we can type in what is this project all about. This map shows suited property according to the following to the criteria and let's go with area greater 100 sqm less than one kilometer school distance less than 50 meters road distance and of course we have flat area slash slightly inclined north facing slopes and what else do we have kept in mind building area that's it i think for the moment and we will give it a proper title suited property client xyz press on ok once again go to the cubes to app preview now this is now interesting we have a blue outline here there's an appearance at the at abstract we would like to have it on the upper right now this is now an abstract we would like to have of course an address search bar we will use the expanded layer list so the buildings now this looks a little bit odd so let's do the abstract in the lower right corner there we are now i don't like the blue outline color so let's go back to this one and define some comparable outline color for the the outline maybe go with no pen at all it's okay okay once again go back to the preview update the preview but it still has the bluish color outline but we can deal with that later on as well so let's just press cancel for the moment Go to the preview again. We have the address search, but I'm now interested in filtering and uh, filtering the buildings, and I need to, yeah, give it some other color code because at the moment my buildings that are suited are not visible very good. I've changed this to be black in the last minutes, so I'll go here with black. Don't use a pen. Okay. Go back to the preview. No, this is better. So I have now the items. I will go with the um, inline label. Inline label, maybe make the ID a header label. The preview, click on something, full ID, area. Full ID, well, this is odd, right? So we have an underscore there, and I don't want to show the client the technical name. So go back to the suited buildings, go to the fields, 
and um, give the full ID or the attribute form give the full ID new alias just say property ID okay update the preview once more click on a building now I have the property ID with an area that's better better schools restaurants and yeah the restaurants we don't need the restaurants to have the FID visible so we will um, we will make it hidden the same applies to the schools so we will not let the user see the FID okay suited areas as well we just have the suited Okay. Let's go back with it. We have proper proper naming on the schools suited zero one. Shall we really have a pop up on the on the layer of the suited areas? I don't think so. So let's remove the pop up. So we cannot interact with the suited areas anymore. We can simply turn them on and off again but now I think everything should be in place but as said maybe our client is interested in filtering the um, filtering according to the area so let's create a filter here for this as well geolocate loser no Layer search no match process to measure tool. We'll use the create um, this tool because then the client has the uh, has a possibility to or is able to measure in the map itself. We'll go with the full screen template. That's I think cool. So let's export it to a folder. Go with training data users folder we go with a precision of seven because we don't need to have the full precision values here i think that's it for the moment so press on export now the map was exported let's go to the finder to the qx training now there's the export We will rename it webmap client xyz and let's open this up in the browser and there we are so that's quite cool what we can do now is we can filter on the area so we will only see buildings that have quite a size right so sometimes these uh, the area values are crooked due to the due to some some crooked geometry so this here has quite a quite a large value in terms of area but it is not visible and remember that bluish line here we will take care of this now so we can have we, we will see here the um, the abstract we can see the title we have the address search we have the measure tool so we can create a new measurement here Wherever it is, you can delete it. This should be a new issue for QGIS to app, but this should not be of our concern today. We will take a look at the source code. Let's open up the finder again, right click, and open this up with Atom. So let's have a look here on the setup of the index.html. We have some external resources that are stored locally, so you don't need a real internet connection for the web page. There, there are some CSSs, there's map definition, and we have the title. And there are some JavaScript resources also to the data. So let's have a look on the on the data, especially the suited 
areas JS. This is now, uh, now quite different to see, but there are some suit areas uh, definitions here. There are 59 of them. Normally they are marked in 0 or 1. But there are also areas where there's a null definition. Then this is a problem for our visualization. So let's have a look here to the suited pane. We have a style for the restaurants. We have suited areas here. And there's the style function for the suited areas. So the stroke definition works just fine for the uh, cases 0 and 1. But what about the null case? So let's create another, which is called default. And um, needs to be there. Well, what's happening then? We will return some values that are part of the pane. Pane suited areas one and course this should be in brackets the stroke will be false as well as the fill will be false right so this is it and we will add the break statement of course let's have a look on the web map now this looks just awesome so there are no null values anymore and we can simply see green and red colors. That's just the way it should work, right? So I hope you enjoyed it. As said, you can pan around, zoom around, and uh, select your your ID, schools, and whatsoever. If there are any questions, just write a comment down below. Otherwise, subscribe. Take care and goodbye.